Hi, welcome to the Creative Treehouse. My name is Robin Broom, and I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in the United States. Thanks for joining me in the treehouse today. Today's project is not exactly a card, it's more of a technique, how to get an antique look using tissue paper. Not toilet paper, but tissue paper, gift wrap tissue. And this is one that I, that I made, and I used Pretty Peacock as the paper, and I embossed it with the Parisian embossing folder and used a tissue paper to give it an antique look. And for this one, I used the Pretty Peacock ink to match the Pretty Peacock paper, which gives it sort of a subtle look. And then this one, you can probably tell a little bit of a difference. This one is a little, a little stronger, and I used the Knight of Navy with the Pretty Peacock. So same, same paper color, just a little bit different. And then in case you're wondering on the flowers, I used the jar of flowers and I used this particular stamp and it worked really, really well using the, the rectangle frames. And uh, the this was crumb cake, I believe. No, Sierra Sand, no, maybe crumb cake. <laughs> and early espresso. And then again, like I said, that was the pretty peacock. And then I used Stampin' Blends to do the flowers. But to me, the main thing was the antique frame. All right, and I also decided to try it with the new Just Jade paper and came up with a couple of ones. I was trying to go for a copper, like a oxidized copper look. And these are a couple of the, the things that I came up with again using the tissue paper. So how does that work? I'm going to get a scrap piece of paper out and we will give it a whirl. All right, this is the Just Jade paper. And I'm going to actually start with mint, uh, mint macaron as my color. It's a little bit lighter than the Just Jade paper. And then I've got tissue paper, the skip tissue paper. I don't think the color matters. So far, I've not seen the color bleed. Uh, my paper that I was working with earlier today came from one of the paper pumpkin boxes. So this might be a way to reuse that pretty tissue paper that comes in the paper pumpkin each month. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna, and it, you probably need like a six by six type uh, piece of paper. You can tear it, rip it, it doesn't matter because you're going to smash it up into a ball. And you really want um, it not to be flat right there. You want it to be uh, crinkled, crumpled. And then we're gonna just uh, tap it around our stamp pad, the mint macaron. And then we're going to swirl it. And normally we would use, or I would use, um, a dauber. But I like this technique better. And then what I'll do is I'll kind of readjust it so that it doesn't... And I'm finding that this is a little lighter than what I was thinking it would be. Maybe I used the just jade. I bet I did. Because this is fine. It's it's a little subtle, but I'm thinking I use the just jade. So let me close up the mint macaron and grab my just jade. My just jade was just out of reach. All right, let's try the just jade. This is one of the new in colors. Let's do it with a Exact same. Let's see. I was thinking it might be too dark. Let's try it out. Let's do a little bit here. Ah, that's right. Okay. You could do the mint macaron, but I think it would just be a little bit too light. All right, don't forget to readjust the tissue paper. You kind of want a, just an uneven look because it's going to give it the more antique look. And yes, if you don't wear gloves or something, your fingers are going to get messy. 
but thankfully it's washable and in a day or two you'll have your fingers will be back to their normal color <laughs> if you've taken a few showers and you can tell that I'm having fun if I'm some of the same colors of the project that I'm working with All right. yeah and if you can kind of tell that it's not it's not even the dauber would give you a more even look but we want this to be um, uneven give it a more antique look Okay, I'll just go all around. And like I said, don't forget to to readjust as you go. Every couple of times, just readjust your your crumpledness so it won't flatten out. So there's there is that, and that would make a a very pretty frame or base of a card or or whatever. So it's, it's subtle, but I like it. I like the antique look. We can compare that to one of our, one of the blue ones that we just did. This was the one with the uh, Knight of Navy. And this is the more subtle color on color with the Pretty Peacock on Pretty Peacock. So that's what it would look like for the Just Jade on Just Jade. And then I wanted to try the the copper look, the oxidized copper look. So I've got another one and I'll show you how I how I did this one. I used Cajun Craze and I have a very old Cajun Craze stamp pad here. And I'm getting a fresh piece of tissue, crumple it up. It still has some good ink on it. Alright, and again we're just gonna the same distress look, recrumple, move it around. Now, in a real piece of copper, it would probably, depending on how old and oxidized it is, it would probably actually have more of the copper color than we're going to be putting on here. But I just I love the way that it's uneven and just adheres to parts of the paper. Yeah. Yeah, I'll show you my fingers in a minute so that you can see the, the fun colors all over me. But I don't mind. I guess, like I said, you could probably wear gloves and that would be okay. Depends on how, how many times you want to go around, how dark you want to make it. And I'll go, let's just go around a couple more times. There, we're getting some really good colors. And readjust your crumpledness. All right, I'm liking that, looks good. And you can start out light as you in a sort of a circular motion and then apply more pressure as you go. It's easier to start out light. And I generally find that I don't have to sort of go off the paper first because it doesn't usually leave a very dark mark at the very beginning. Okay, so there's that and then here's that and then here's my, my fingers. They actually have a little bit of pretty peacock on them because actually that's the next color that we're going to add to it. Because if you look at copper, um, it's not just the, these two colors, there's other colors involved. So we will crunch up some more paper, a fresh piece, and we'll go into our pretty peacock. And this, I, I will go off just a little bit because it can be a little bit too strong. Super big blobs, but it just sort of gives some shadow to it. So I think it's just exactly what it what this needs to look a little more realistic. So a little bit of pretty peacock. There are probably other colors that you could use as well. 
Let me see. I'm re recrumpling. Maybe that's a better word. Recrumpling this and adding. And just go through just to see where you think you might need a little more. All right. I'm pleased with that. Okay. I'll let you, I'll see the, show you the difference too of this one was just lightly done and then this one was done, um, with, of course it was using a different folder, the, the tile folder. So, but I, I like the look of this one. I like the tile as well. So, and then what I did was I really thought that it still needed because copper still has a little bit of shimmer to it. So I'm going to use the uh, champagne mist in the on the on the thing on the container it says the all-purpose ink but it's um i think it's shimmer paint i think is the, is the correct name and you just need a smidge so we're just going to go into the to the cap and we're just going to dot it and this time i've I tried with the tissue and it's okay but i like being a little bit more um selective on where i would like it so just add just a a touch here and there of what what might be a little bit shiny have just a little bit of shine left in it so yep just go through with it just stab it stab it and then kind of pull it just a little In a few places so needs to be pretty subtle I did it one time and it was not 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 as subtle as it needed to be so uh, I think that's I think that's got a great look you're barely barely using any of the shimmer paint but it I think it makes a difference looks great all right so put that down and I forgot to say that we do shake up our shimmer paint before we get started on it. All right, so there's that to show you what it would look like. See if it'll catch the light at all so that you can see some of the, the shimmer in there. Does it catch the light? So it looks a little bit like, a, like copper. So there is that. So there's the copper one. And here's one that we did with just the just jade, kind of an antique -y look. And again, here's the one from the paper that's Pretty Peacock, but it also has the Night of Navy on it. And then this one has the Pretty Peacock with Pretty Peacock ink on it. And so there you have it, just different ways to give an antique look to your project, whether it be a frame or just the base of a card or whatever. So anyway, now you know uh, a tissue paper, and it's not the toilet paper, but the tissue paper technique that just gives a, a different look than a dauber would. So I hope you have enjoyed this particular technique and that you'll give it a try. And if you do, um, send me a note and let me know. Send a, uh, write in a, one of the comments. And um, I, I love to read the comments. Uh, they're so exciting. I love to see them all. Um, I try my best to um, write back and indicate that I have seen it. And, and thanks so much for, for participating. Thank you so much for hitting that subscribe button because now we have gone in just two weeks time from 100 subscribers to 200 subscribers. Woohoo! This is just um, super, super exciting. I usually go to bed each night with a smile on my face. So thank you guys for that. Thank you for the love. Thank you for the shares and the mentions. And um, so if you haven't already subscribed, please do. I, my goal is to make a new video every week. I'm a little behind because I spent some time in um, Alabama visiting my parents. So I'm a little behind, but I'll try to catch up. Thanks again for stopping by the treehouse, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.